This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. Hello and welcome to Horsin' Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. Today joined by Dr. Lori Beard and she is a clinical professor here in the equine section and internal medicine specialist in the equine department. And today I think what we're going to talk about is something that is of a concern for horse owners, especially when they travel, and that's vesicular stomatitis. And Dr. Beard, what is vesicular stomatitis uh, as far as what owners may need to know about that uh, disease? So uh, vesicular stomatitis is a virus. Um, it is um, contagious to not only horses, but other large animals as well. Um, and it results in ulceration of the mouth, gums, and does result in some cornea band lesions as well. And so with that virus and what owners would see clinically being that kind of uh, mouth type aspects, lesions within the mouth or maybe even the coronary band, what else uh, would an owner be concerned with uh, with that uh, disease? Would there be anything else? Uh, do they feel sick or anything else? Yeah, that? yeah. so they, they do um, start out with a fever. Mm. Um, so that might be the first thing you notice the animal you know, depressed, not eating very well. The other thing you might notice is difficulties eating, maybe a lot of salivation. Mm. Um, so that would prompt you to probably um, take a look in the horse's mouth um, to see if you see um, any erosions that are resulting in this. Okay, and then the other thing would be, how do horses get this disease? Yeah, very good question. So this is actually carried by a large number of different um, insects. So that's how it's probably spread from horse farm to horse farm. But certainly the other thing that can happen is, is once a horse starts showing clinical signs or any other large animal, then it could be spread by direct contact or um, things like fomites such as hands, water buckets, those sort of things. And I think that something that has been a big concern is just traveling horses going to shows. And you said kind of horse to horse. Uh, what would, I guess, be of a concern or how would owners know if uh, there's an issue potentially with vesicular somatitis in different regions? So I think that right now there is an outbreak going on in mm -hmm. the uh, western part of the United States. Yep. I think there's five um, states that are having an outbreak currently right now. And so like local veterinarians when they're doing health papers then would be able to know uh, as they're traveling with those horses? Local veterinarians, I mean, when they're doing health certificates, mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to take that's part of your physical exam is looking in the horse's mouth. Do you see any evidence of that? Um, and then provided the horse is healthy, we can write the health papers for that. The other thing would be, say they were at a show, now they're worried about there was a horse that had vesicular somatitis, they've come back home. What's kind of the incubation period or like if they were exposed, when would they maybe show clinical signs or have the disease? roughly a week. Okay, all right. And so that would be something where owners could definitely be cognizant of, keeping track of, talking to their veterinarian, I guess, if they have any concerns yeah. with the disease. The big thing, if they see any evidence that they've got something like this, is call your veterinarian. It's a reportable disease. Mm. So your veterinarian would look at the horse and then contact the appropriate authorities if he thought or she or she thought that that was a possibility. Okay, well that's great information. I think if you ever have any questions about vesicular stomatitis or any other horse type of diseases, uh, Dr. Lori Beard is here at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center to help answer some of those questions or ask your own veterinarian about different things that might have uh, issues with of your horse. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins for Horsing Around and we'll see you around. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com.